Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. Today I am all on my own. I'm doing a solo route. It is early as the kids are asleep. Mine and Sophie's turn to do the animals this morning and let everybody else rest. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me while I start this day. I'm letting Sophie sleep in a little bit. They went to bed super late. I went to bed super late for me. But anyway, let's get started. So first off, chickens. I love this little coop that Sam made for me. Come on, coop. Uh-oh, there we go. number one chickens done now I'm going down to feed the horses and I'm gonna to attempt to take the boys together to the grass field on my own I don't think I should do it though so I might have to wait for help Today is supposed to be an amazing, beautiful, gorgeous day. And a perfect day for at the trailer, swimming in the pool, hanging at the beach, or a perfect day for hanging out on your horse farm. So I'm gonna let the kids and Sam take a vote and decide what they wanna do today. It's so weird. Girls are easier on the ground, and boys are easier in the saddle. <laughs> Alright, girls are out. I'm going to attempt to take the boys to the grass, but unfortunately I am not brave enough, strong enough, smart enough, experienced enough to take them both together. So I'm going to try and take them one at a time, and I'm going to try and, um, Choose correctly. Which one should I choose to take first? Because the one that I, so I'm gonna have to leave one in the field and one in the barn. So they're gonna be by themselves for a few seconds. And I know horses do not love that. So what do you guys think? I'm gonna make a choice right now. Who do you think I should choose to leave behind? Who do you think is gonna be the most patient to stay in the barn by themselves? First I'm going to spray them with bug spray because um, the taller grass tends to have a little bit more bugs. But don't forget, but you guys should know that there's hardly any bugs here still. Today is a summer day though, like I was wearing a hoodie and I was out in the field putting out hay and I was like, holy cow, it's summer. Where's the bug spray? This is the problem that I have, that my kids do not put everything back, to, back away. <laughs> I chose Storm. I chose Storm to take. I feel like he's like the better one to leave in the field by himself while I come back and get Finn. He's like, why am I a YouTube horse? I always have to wait longer while she videos. <laughs> Storm. All right, let's go, dude. Let's do this. Finn, we'll be right back. Storm's like, where am I going? This is the wrong way. Take me to my mares. I was trying to figure out the best way to take him over that big water ditch. And I'm like trying to get him to go, trying to get him to go. He jumped it. That's our little jumping pony right there. Gabby would love to have seen that. He just pulled back and jumped it. Ooh, he's getting excited. He's looking back for Finn. Where's my friend? I'll teach you, you should be nicer to him. Right, give me one minute. One minute, I'll be right back with your buddy. Do not charge that fence. He's galloping around that field. 
Gabby looks out of her window right now, she'd see him. Hurry up, your buddy's freaking out. I did it. It's actually kind of wet out today. Maybe you shouldn't have brought them out here today. It's gonna eat up our field a little bit, rip up our field a little. <sighs> I need a rest. <laughs> it's hard work. More than anything, it's the worry. It's the worry about Storm. I thought for sure Storm was gonna jump this fence looking for Finn. I feel like Finn would have been worse though. Anyway, let's go back to the tour. Is this the first time I've done chores completely on my own? I think it is. Like letting the horses out and stuff. Proud of myself, you guys. I want to do it. I want to learn to do it. I want to be in control and strong and brave like Sophia and like Gabby. Anyway, this is a problem I'm having with the farm right now. I feel like I'm having a problem managing our little herd. Storm and Finn are not good together. Storm's not really very good in a herd, I don't think. Like, he's not mean, overly, or bad. He's just not a good leader. Like, Stella is a good leader, a kind, loving, sweet leader. Storm is one of those, you know, the, your boss or your teacher that's like, or your parent that's like, it's my way or no way and that's it. And he's really a strong leader. Well, Finn is a super emotional, sensitive horse, does not do well in that kind of environment. So he's like really skittish, really scared, really unsettled right now. And I have two options. I can let them settle in, but I know from experience with Storm that he's not going to change. And I don't think they're gonna settle in any better. Uh, Finn and Willow did settle in a lot better. Um, I feel like I wanna put Storm on his own, together with the horses, but in his own little paddock, right beside everybody else. But the problem that I'm having is that to put them on grass, uh, none of the other, the girls aren't going on grass. So how, so, I think I'm gonna have to split our grass paddock into two so that Storm and Finn can be together but not be close. But the other problem I'm having is that Finn wants to be with the girls. Like he and Stella and him are so close that literally, I don't know, maybe I'm just way too emotional, but I'm finding it really hard because our horses could be happier with their herd, if that makes sense. Like they're not in a happy herd. And I mean, Willow and Stella are completely fine, although Stella would be happier if she had Finn as well. I don't know things I'm trying to figure out along the way and I'm sure some of you guys have a good ideas or good suggestions for me and I know a lot of people are gonna say they're fine they're horses just throw them out there and I'm not that kind of person I, I don't just want to have horses I want my horses to be happy I have a unique opportunity right now to manage my herd in a way that everybody is comfortable and happy and that's what I want to do I want to I want to go that one step extra and and put them in the spots that makes them a better, happier, healthier herd. So that's my goal, and that's what I'm having trouble with. So Sophie joined me. Hey. Oh my goodness, that boy knows his name and your voice. Call him again. Finny. Finn. Finn. Oh, I am so in love with the way that the horses come to the girls. It's not time yet. Let's leave them for a little longer. Can you guys see the, the area that they're eating up really well? Storm's like, where's my girl? Lazy bones. Storm gets really mad at bugs. And literally, I'm not, I saw one fly, baby fly on Stella today for one second, like there's no bugs here yet. Find the dogs in the grass. So tall. No matter where we are, no matter where we are in the house, we open a window and we call Finn. He knows his name, like he always looks for us. Hi boys. Hi boys. Grass is leaving. Look at, they wrecked the 
this. I'm sad, you guys. Don't wreck the grass. I don't want to do this all through that no Okay, there's flies now. What's that? A fly. I sprayed them with bug spray. We need to get new bug spray. Better. Finn's kind of not ready to go. I designated a pair of running shoes as barn shoes. Hi Finn, are you happy? Look, I gave you back your girl. Literally best friends, loves. So my solution right now is to leave uh, Finn and the girls together and let Storm be on his own but attached to them. Oh, Willow. Well, Willow's back to her old tricks though. Anyway, we're gonna try this for a little while just to see what happens. Uh, Gabby's gonna ride Stella. And who are you riding, Missy? I'm not riding. Oh, what are you doing? Playing. Playing with your boy? Yeah. So Willow and I are sitting here in the sun. Right, Willow? funny for me to hear and see Gabby treating Stella like a horse because all the rest of us are afraid to tell her not to do something because she gets such a bad reaction whereas Gabby just tells her this is the right thing but Gabby's like treating her like storm getting her in trouble when she does things and I feel like it's a good thing though like I feel like she needs to know that that, that we call the shots when we're riding her because I don't think she does know that yeah like so it's as long as we've had her she pretty much does what she wants are you ready to canter? No, we're gonna only canter once. Okay, that makes that's good for me. Oh, you're not cantering her at all today? Not today. I think it's good not to canter her every single day as well because then she doesn't anticipate it. Train her up good for me, Gabby.
Why? Why do you always want to bite me? Oh no, I think. This is what he does first. He's itching you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I think he was saying, hey, I'm itchy. Can you please itch me? Oh, then. Stella's still having her lesson over there. Willow is get, catching a breeze over in the sun. It is, it is time for us to make sure we have everything we need for showing. Proper yarn. Oh, I'm going to need a different color yarn for Finn. He's going to need his main pull, which is unfortunate. <laughs> and um, I'm still looking for that brush, that thing that cuts the mane, thins it out, because I think that would be super handy. Oh my gosh. Look at you, owning my horse. Owning that good girl. I'm proud of you, Gabby. I appreciate that you're taking over her and teaching her like you teach Storm. How are you doing, Stella? She's like, I better get a lot of something. I have a carrot for you after this lesson. This is a hard lesson for her because Gabby didn't let her get away with anything. And I think today is actually the very first day of making her our own horse. Do you, Gabby? Okay. Yeah. Go <laughs> and be careful with him. He's our like he's so good. The horse shakes his head every five seconds, and yet we're pulling at his hair, hair and I'm not even by the root. And the dude just stands there like this. He's meant to be an English pony, a hunter. I, I just feel it in my heart. Because they don't. Sophie, <laughs> let me try. Okay, so now we're all hooked on this, but this is the weirdest thing. So many people said, "Stop buying stuff. You have too much stuff," and just kept buying stuff. And okay, then at one point. At one, whoa. God, I have a feeling she's not gonna take this off. I think she will. She's, she's gonna bit in. You like, should take you, her bit off and her saddle off don't first. Don't you even dare to pull out my hair? Yeah, I know. I know. I, I don't know what girls are like, but I can imagine what I'd be like. Look at how calm she is after your ride, though, Gabby. That's so good. Okay, but first I'm one. Out a lot. Okay, and then you have to yes, put. A, I'll have to do okay. Good girl. Mama. I pulled out only that much. I'm a good. Good girl. Okay, untack her first. Yeah. Good boy. And Willow's like, I'm standing back here. You want to know how I pull Texas me? I just brush it with this brush. So I knot it up and then I brush it. And then okay. it takes hair Be out careful. Be careful. Anyways, so my point, the point of my story was that we bought like a lot of stuff back when we first started buying horses that we didn't even probably need all that much. But now... Everything that I need Mama, is here. I think Finn's in love with this. Yeah, he likes it. Finn loves it. Oh. But literally, I have three braiding kits and three main pulling combs. Like, I, I thought I was going to have to go to the store and buy main pulling combs. Like, I'm shocked that we have three of them. Like, I can't believe it. Aww. You know why he's so happy, Sophie? Because he's with his girl. The family that pulls mane together stays together. Like we're all addicted. Like we're like, oh, let me do it. I'm still on the first. So, uh, what kind of brush do you guys like better? Mane pulling comb. Do you like the little tiny ones, or do you like the one with the long handle better? What do you like better? These small ones, so yeah. that I can actually have it. Yeah, I kind of like it too. What one do you like better, Gabby? Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.